Hey geeks, what is going on? So in the last video, um, I told you about the multiple and map techniques I use in my penetration tests. Now, uh, make sure to go back and watch that video if you have not done that already. In this video, uh, it's going to be much simpler uh, because I'm going to talk about vulnerability scanning with Nikto. Now, before that, let me remind you that if you're a website owner or a business owner and you need a security check on your server or your website, there's a link in the description where you can go and request a penetration test from me. Also, uh, what I want to mention is that if you want to be a penetration tester, I have a coaching program uh, and I currently have a few uh, spots open. So. Uh, you can check the coaching link in the description. Now, if you're a business owner and want to better secure your website, check the consultation link in the description. So there's a ton of links in the description. Just check them out. And finally, finally, please make sure to subscribe and share this video with your uh, cybersecurity fellas as it helps me grow the channel and spread knowledge uh, in this field. Now, that being said, let's go back to Nikto. So, Nikto, Nikto, where to start? Um, so, vulnerability scanning is a very profitable cybersecurity and penetration testing niche. Now, why do I say that? So, um, if you've been in this field for a while, you probably know that some famous vulnerability scanners can go for a couple of thousands of dollars for just a bare standard license and some others uh, for even more than that. But I don't know, there is nothing wrong with that. So if you have the money or if you work for a company who's willing to uh, pay for the license, that's even better. But if you're just starting out uh, in the field and you, you're probably like looking for a cheaper alternative or even for, for a free one. So, um, also, what I need to say is that, uh, and this is really important, if you're training for the OSCP, you may not use paid tools in your exam as with the current uh, guidelines, which is why um, there are free alternatives like Nikto. So uh, aside of Nikto, I could also name like OpenVAS, uh, Vega, Anmap, uh, Wapiti, I guess, I think that's Python based, also Grabber, and like I said, of course, the good old Nikto. Okay, um, and Nikto in our case, even though it might seem very basic, it can be quite versatile. Um, so, Nikto is uh, a command line scanner that comes installed by default in uh, Kali Linux. And uh, to run a simple scan with Nikto, you can do, you can, you'll just do Nikto minus H and uh, the website. And that's it. Um, you could also like simply run Nikto minus H um, and the IP and it'll figure, uh, Nikto will figure out the best way to scan the potential website located at the IP address you specified. Um, of course, uh, if you simply type Nikto in your command line, you'll get a few of the commands you can run with Nikto. Uh, and if you type Nikto minus capital H, then you'll get the full list of commands Nikto can take. Uh, you should probably check it out for yourself. Um, aside of these, uh, I have a few that I've noticed. I have a few Nikto commands that I've noticed I use more often. And one of them is to use a proxy when scanning on a website. So that's simply Nikto minus H, the website, and then the command line argument use proxy. And then you specify the proxy uh, and the port. Okay, uh, and that's actually really simple and straightforward. Another one that I use is to is where I want to specify Nikto to use a custom user agent, um, and for that the command is Nikto minus h the website, and then the command line argument minus user agent, 
and then your custom user agent. Okay, that's also pretty straightforward. Now, another two commands or two other commands uh, involve using or not using SSL. So you can disable using SSL by specifying the no SSL as argument. So that's simply nicto minus H, the website you want to scan, minus no SSL, which is the command line argument. Okay. Or you can force uh, SSL mode with the SSL argument, and that's nicto minus H, the website, and minus SSL. Uh, and finally, Nikto is equipped, if I can put it that way, uh, with plugins that extend its capabilities quite significantly. Now, by default, Nikto runs with all of them on. Um, and to know what I'm talking about, you should just uh, simply type Nikto minus list minus plugins. So minus list plugins uh, in one word. So yeah, this is basically Nikto in a nutshell. This is how I use Nikto in my penetration tests and also in my training. Uh, what I like about it is that uh, their repo is quite actively maintained, like uh, the last commit being a couple of weeks ago, I just checked. It was, I believe, April, like, April 2019. Um, so Nikto might not be the most powerful, but it's free and it's very helpful in aiding your manual penetration tests. Okay, cybersecurity geeks, this is all I have for you in this video. Now, don't forget to check the links in the description if you need penetration testing services, uh, pen testing coaching, or consulting in cybersecurity. Now, that being said, please do me a huge favor and share this video on your social media or on Discord, uh, because I know many of you prefer not uh, to be or not to use social media. Let's actually grow this channel together. Now, random question. Uh, what do you guys uh, think uh, or why do you think some of these uh, vulnerability scanners go for such high and ridiculous prices uh, for a license? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.